the black dragons have been considered to be some of the most powerful creatures that you will ever encounter throughout the entire Monster Hunter series with Alatreon, the blazing black dragon, being introduced in Iceborne as of right now. However, during the storyline of Iceborne, we have been told that there is a relation between the Blazing Black Dragon and the mysterious Red Dragon that is the Safijiva that was released for this particular title. Could this be Capcom actually progressing lore in the entire Monster Hunter series where they may be introducing another category of dragons that could be as powerful as that of the Black Dragons? Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey everyone, Kota Pinoy X here once again, back with another Monster Hunter video and today what we're going to be looking into is whether or not Capcom is introducing a new kind of Elder Dragon in Monster Hunter World Iceborne that could rival the power and ferocity of the Black Dragons throughout the entire series. As we get introduced to Alatreon the Blazing Black Dragon in Iceborne as of right now, we are also given a potential link between the Alatreon and the mysterious red dragon living in the secluded valley which is the Safijiva. Now Capcom were very vague on how they did the link between these two elder dragons but it is obvious that they are progressing the lore of the entire series where Safijiva and the Alatreon may come into contact with one another and we don't exactly know the results of this contact between the black dragon and the red dragon. So what we're going to be looking into today is whether or not Capcom is actually introducing a new kind of elder dragon that could rival the black dragons in Iceborne that is simply labeled as the red dragons. The Safijiva continues to be the most mysterious elder dragon that we have discovered in the new world because there's not enough information to give a better understanding as to what this creature is capable of and what kind of monster that research commission and even the hunter's guild is treating it as. There's just not enough information to really build up on Safijiva at this point in order to understand the powers of this creature. Now with the Alatreon's release in Iceborne where the Alatreon arrives in the new world, we did get to have a better insight on the monster's capabilities, especially with the fact that they are relating the Safijiva to the Alatreon, but at the same time that relation is mysterious. What exactly is the link between the Alatreon and Safijiva in the new world, and why would there even be a link between these two monsters to begin with? We could be looking into two scenarios regarding the Safijiva and how this monster could evolve even further beyond based on what happens in the storyline within Iceborne and how this creature is linked to the Alatreon. The first scenario that we could be looking into is that we're actually investigating two potential black dragons in the secluded valley as of right now. We have the ever infamous Alatreon, the blazing black dragon that recently arrived in the secluded valley. And of course, we have the enigmatic red dragon that is Safijiva. When Safijiva was first released into Iceborne, the trailer for Safijiva was ominous and mysterious, almost as if Capcom was treating it as some form of black dragon, similar to how they introduced something like that. Morales during the trailer of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. It was a mysterious dragon at the very end of the trailer. Makes a lot of sense. However, there hasn't really been any proof as of right now that Safajiva is a black dragon. However, speculations continue that this may well be because of the fact that Safajiva hasn't reached its full potential as of this current moment and maybe Alatreon arriving in the new world could unlock the potential of Safajiva in order to evolve into a new black dragon in the series, especially when it reaches the arch-tempered state. The second scenario that we could be looking into is one that I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, and that is the fact that Safijiva could may well be the progenitor of a new kind of elder dragon that equals the black dragons, simply labeled as red dragons. Now the main reason that we're looking into this, as well as a number of people picking up on it, is because of how Safijiva's red coloration seems to be quite important for this particular monster. At the very beginning of Safijiva's release, it was simply titled as red dragon. 
And as we go through Iceborne with Alatreon's events, they try to separate Safajiva from Alatreon despite the fact that there is a link between these two monsters. They label the Black Dragon as the Blazing Black Dragon, and they label Safajiva as that of a red monster. Almost as if the red coloration is indicative of how Safajiva was linked to Alatreon is actually something altogether different. That's right. The secluded valley is also home to that red monster. I find it hard to believe that it went to pick a fight. There's gotta be a reason. Right. Which is why I think we should look into the connection between Alatreon and that red monster. And let the guild know we're going to continue investigating. We don't exactly know the extent of how Capcom will build up the Red Dragons altogether, but for the time being, this seems to be the direction that Capcom is going with regarding the mysterious Red Dragon at this moment in time. They want to stick the red coloration to Safajiva, and it seems like that's the direction the story is going with, especially with how the Saliana Council meeting pretty much labeled Safajiva as a red monster. Now as we can see right here, we are presented with two very unique scenarios for the Safajiva altogether in Iceborne. The first one is where we actually see the Safajiva evolve into a black dragon, maybe through the arch-tempered state. The other one is where Safajiva is treated separately from the black dragons, being a progenitor for the red dragons. Now for me personally, I think Capcom is going towards the story of Safajiva being a progenitor for the red dragons. And the main reason for this is because they really emphasize on the red coloration of Safajiva during the Alatreon storyline. So the red coloration is very significant, especially for this monster. Now if we are looking into the scenario where red dragons could come in future Monster Hunter games alongside Safajiva, then there are two innate capabilities that we could be looking into from the red dragons based on the observation on Safajiva. The first one is the ability to absorb bioenergy outside of elder dragons. Safajiva can absorb the bioenergy in the secluded valley and maybe other red dragons can do so on other lands. The other one is the ability to manipulate the behaviors of elder dragons. Now this one is unique to Safajiva as of right now. I haven't seen any other creatures do it in the entire series but at the same time we could be looking into the future of the series where other red dragons could do the exact same thing. Now hopefully this is something that Capcom will touch up upon in future title DLC updates regarding the Safajiva and maybe even Alatreon, but for the time being, Safajiva has definitely shown us these two unique abilities being labeled as the Red Dragon, the ability to manipulate bioenergy outside of Elder Dragons, and the ability to manipulate Elder Dragons themselves in terms of their innate behavior. Now at this moment in time, we don't exactly have concrete proof that the Safajiva is being treated as a separate monster to that of the Black Dragons. It's all just speculation at this moment in time and the relation between Alatreon and Safajiva could mean that Safajiva is a potential Black Dragon. Having said that though, with the emphasis on the Red Dragon's coloration being treated as a red monster during the Saliana Council meeting, it does feel like it runs parallel to what happened all the way back in first generation Monster Hunter where Fatalis was simply labeled as a black dragon and eventually from Fatalis came the other black dragon monsters. So it could may well be the same scenario with Safajiva being the progenitor of the Red Dragons and maybe in future installments of Monster Hunter, we could start Start seeing more red dragons alongside the black dragons. Again though at the end of the day it is just speculations based on the events of the new world with the Alatreon and Safajiva being linked to one another. And that is pretty much it for this video, taking a look at the red dragons and how these creatures could may well be a concept that rivals the black dragons in terms of power and ferocity within Monster Hunter World Iceborne and even future Monster Hunter games. This is all based on the information provided during the Alatrans event so far, but again, the emphasis on the red coloration does make the red color significant for Safajiva in Iceborne as of right now. What do you think? Do you think that the series is building up to the red dragons being a potential rival to the black dragons, or do you think Safajiva could eventually evolve into a black dragon instead? Let me know in the comments below what your speculations are regarding Safajiva and how it relates to Alatrayon in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. 
born. Now with all of that being said, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any future Monster Hunter content that I might be doing or any other games that I might be playing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Onward and upward.